Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is a discussion with Dr. Adarsh Bhimraj, who is an infectious diseases specialist at the Cleveland Clinic Foundation in Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States. Uh, the purpose of this discussion is to look at various treatment options available for COVID-19. Uh, I'd like to point out again that our goal is to shed light on the information that is available to us here in the U.S. Uh, we are not making specific treatment recommendations for any given patient. That's up to their treating physicians wherever in the world they are. So let's talk about uh, a drug hydroxychloroquine, which came into fame very early on in the pandemic and was used uh, very extensively here in the United States. We gave it to every single COVID-19 patient who came into the hospital uh, in March and April and for many months after that as well, till we got some uh, more data. Uh, so could you please uh, tell us about where things stand with hydroxychloroquine now that we have a year's worth of you know potential data looking at this drug? Yeah, Madhu, I think that's a great question, but I also think hydroxychloroquine I think is a good example to learn from. So early on, we had uh, studies which were done in petri dishes, for lack of a better word, which showed that hydroxychloroquine might work for COVID-19. Then there were these little studies out of France, which had a lot of limitations, which showed that it might work. And then everybody in the world started using it extensively. Uh, and like we want and a lot of other people too who are scientifically said like, I think we have to do studies to see if it really works. Then there are a lot of large randomized control trials. These are kind of the gold standard, well done studies, which showed that hydroxychloroquine did not save lives. Hydroxychloroquine actually didn't decrease the suffering of patients in a meaningful way. Um, but I still think a lot of people use it. Um, I don't think it's really that harmful uh, in most patients, but I don't think it's efficacious. I don't think it has any benefit. Uh, and it's been reasonably proven in well done studies in COVID-19. Others, thank you. Uh, and that's kind of where things stand. We are practically, uh, we don't use it anymore here in, the, in, in hospitals in the United States. And I don't think we're using it. Uh, it's not part of any treatment guideline at this point in time. Uh, so I think uh, we feel fairly confident in saying that we have found no benefit uh, with the use of hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 patients. Uh, would you say that's accurate? Yeah, absolutely. And I think we have enough data right now to make that statement.